Welcome to SNI Adventures in Food, and we're back again with another food review. Um, and damn, like I pause. It's too early in the morning, and I'm somewhere else. See, I'm not somewhere else. I'm in the house, but a different scenery. I'm not in the rampa today. I'm not in my room in the basement or whatever where the wife sends me when I don't behave. I'm not in there. But we're back with another review, and. What do I have? Well, I went back to Hamburger Express. If you guys know Hamburger Express, where I did the Chile Verde burrito. And check out what I got now. I got hard shell tacos. Oh shit, the cheese is falling. It's amazing, look at it. And they're big, they're not just skinny, like my grandma's legs, they're fat. Like my grandma's, grandpa's stomach and shit, you know, look at it. These things are loaded. And then it has tomato on top, but it looks like a, I don't know, it's like tomato and salsa. So I'm not going to take it off. The wife goes, you, you forgot to say no tomato. I said, no, I did, but it's, it looks different. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm. Oh. It's bomb. I got no napkins. My the wife set me up. Right here, but she didn't give me no napkins. Eh? That's all good. I guess I'll use my shirt. Hi baby. Hi. My wife's in the back room. She did work today. Hi baby. Thank you, my love. Yeah, she's in the back room. She wanna come out. So well, I have planned this review, so that's why. But regardless, she should have been in it. But the wife ordered, she's eating actually real breakfast. What is it, pancakes, mama? Mm -hmm. Pancakes and eggs and sausage. And then we got the green salsa from there. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Wow. Mmm. That's amazing. These hard shell tacos are from a burger stand, Vato. And they're bomb. And I know I said I don't like tomatoes, but these tomatoes, they put a sauce on them. I don't know. It's good. The wife probably likes well food. You're eating tomatoes. But look at this. The ground beef and everything inside is just amazing. Fully loaded. Mmm. It's early in the morning. I'm only nine in the morning. And I wake up always with the wife. Well, not always. She wakes up earlier. I stay in bed. And then she comes and wakes me up. Then I gotta get up. But we went to go buy the little baby chicken's food and Compton some food. So we ran the errands over there. On the way home, we stopped at Hamburger Express. I had ordered three tacos, hard shell, and the wife goes, you didn't get no fries. I was like, oh shit, okay. So I ordered fries once we hit the drive-through. You don't want fries, babe? No, baby. Okay. I'm making sure I, I'm sharing any, but these tacos, they are bomb. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. And we had to cover the parent because I'm about to loud, eh? You guys can hear him. You guys hear him when I do reviews in the other room. It gets pretty loud, but you just being a bird, I guess, you know? And I got me a fresca to drink. Ah, that's 
soda is bomb. I was about to say beer. White beer, eh? Ugh. And when we were waiting for our order, there was two guys that walked in. I walked right out, eh? Why? Because they don't have their mask, fool. Alley County has, you gotta wear a mask indoor again. And people ain't liking it, but it is what it is, vatos. I know they want to set a new, is it rule, law, whatever. That you can't go into a restaurant, bar, or gym unless you're fully vaccinated or somewhat vaccinated. They won't let you in, fool. They already have it out in New York. And our son Paco got lucky about though, because he was out in New York like two weeks ago, babe. Yeah. And he would have been screwed, eh? Because they would have not let these vatos in nowhere. But the reason they're doing it is because they don't want to shut down the world again. That's why they're going this extra mile so they can stay open. Which is cool for restaurant owners and small businesses because, hey, we lost a lot of businesses during the pandemic. Now they got an option, but I know nobody, nobody, I know not that, not everybody agrees with this shit. Like my cousin, ha, <laughs> My cousin is more paisa than a paisa. But the Vato thinks he's Donald Trump. <laughs> he has an Instagram page. He don't even post pictures of his kids. He posts more pictures than Donald Trump than his kids, eh? I don't get this Vato, eh? What happened, fool? Donald Trump probed you in the nalga, fool, or what? Like, I don't get it, fool. And the thing that's funny is that we, t we talk about this, and he walks away, eh? Like... Oh, come on, dude. Your fucking, your name is Luis. But he says, my name is Luis. No, it's not, motherfucker. And if you're watching again, yeah, I'm calling you out, Vato. Because, one, you are never going to stop what goes around in this fucking world, dude. Why? Because all your followers on Instagram are your family, fool. Like, they, they're tired of what they see in trompetas, eh? He acts like he's viral and he has a million followers and you know there's people around motherfucker. It's your neighbors and your tias and your tios in Mexico, fool. <laughs> so it's like it, stop stressing yourself, fool. Live life. Who gives a shit, eh? You know? That's the way I see it. I don't give a shit what's going on, you know? Anybody can be the next fucking president. I don't give a shit. Cause they're not paying our bills, you know? Makes no sense to me. But people stress over shit they can't control, and to them you're about you're like the size of an ant buckle. So it's not wasting your your fingers on your phone and your brains researching shit like some crazy fucking people on the internet, ain't you know? They're like chicken little and they think the world is fucking gonna fucking fall apart or what the heck it is. I don't know. I'm just saying, Vatos. Just because you don't stress about nothing. I don't. I know you don't. That's why I look young, eh? My huh, baby. And the wife. Oh and the wife too. The wife. She look she looks young because we don't stress. She tries on night, just like I gotta hit her in the back of the head like Chavo the Lord. Baby, wake up, fool. Don't trip, babe. Eh? You're healthy, you're alive, you got this handsome. Celebrity husband, you know, Renee, baby. <laughs> She's gonna choke on her pancake back there. But it's true. If you got everything you need in life, fuck it, enjoy it. We, we're not, we're not fucking the vice president. We're not the governor. We're none of those motherfuckers. At the end of the day, they don't listen to us, eh? They don't listen to us. <laughs> but um, back to my tacos. Look at this shit. These fuckers are huge, eh? These are. Tacos on steroids, there we go. But yeah. Uh, people don't think 
The COVID is real. We have, we have, the wife has friends that have died from it. So I don't get what people say is not real. I think they just acted and they, you know, they, they're acting the funeral. They'll wake up, you know, next year or some shit, you know? They just think it's, they just think it's the flu. A regular flu. I think it's the flu, but, I don't know. It's crazy. And obviously it kills people, what though? But, actually the other day, was it yesterday? I went to the to market, to the market grocery shopping. The fucking stores are empty again. Well, at least that's where I went to. I want to say to brothers, like, a lot of shit is missing off the shelves again. And I was like, fuck, what those like, why, you know, like, the world didn't end last year with the COVID. What do you think is an end again, fool? The world's gonna keep on turning, and you're gonna die, fool. Not, not everybody. But, I don't know. It's crazy. People are crazy. But, me? I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy tacos and life, fool. You know? But, hold on, man. My tacos split open. These tacos are bomb. The ground beef reminds me of, and I might cry a little, of Snappy Tacos ground beef. Serious talk. Those of you that have Snappy Tacos, go to Hamburger Express, order a hard shell taco, and just pick the ground beef out like, like this, and taste it. It tastes like Snappy Tacos ground beef. Oh, this thing is bomb, and you got the side of French fries. And I use them to pick up what falls off. Hey, these are like, look at you make a taco fry. And the wife, she did work today. Because she says, I'm gonna miss you, so I'm not going to work. I said, all right, baby, I love you. Stay home, don't worry. But the wife is cooking, was it pot roast? Yes. Pot roast and the crock pot right behind us. And I'm excited about those because, well, it's gonna taste bomb because everything the wife cooks is bomb. And you guys see it on Instagram, she uploads stuff, you know? But. She already has it going on the crock pot. The only thing that's sad is I gotta wait eight hours, Mato. But she said it'll be done by 4 p.m. So it'll be dinner, you know? But it just sucks when you're sitting and you're smelling like it smells good and you can't have them because it's not ready, eh? Crock pots is not for fat people. The Insta pot is for fat people because the food's quick, eh? So the crock pot is like for the skinny people. Like, that's why I don't like the crock pot. Shit takes too long, eh? I want my food fast. So, but. I guess she wants to, she wants to torture me today. So she's using the crock pot. I don't know. I think I'm only gonna be able to eat two tacos. Cause they're big. They're good though. But. Can you tell us about the dog? The dog? Yeah. Oh yeah, thank you for reminding me. Ah. The wife wants me to tell you guys an update on the perro dog, the pit bull. That vato is living life like he's never lived life before. And he's only six months old. Well, I guess yesterday the vato ate another animal. Like, fuck, fool. Lucky fucker. He ate one of the neighbor's chickens. <laughs> but not our chickens because he's not here. He's out there in Riverside. Well, over there, it's farmland, so the chickens roam from one yard to another yard. Well, this time he roamed to the wrong yard, Vato. Well, I guess the chicken was used to jumping over to the yard or the house, but there was never a dog, you know? But now, fool, the chupacabra dog came out and ate the motherfucker. So he had a chicken dinner last night. 
and he's full. It is what it is, you know. Like somebody comment, animals will be animals. You know, animal being an animal, but I think he's getting used to eating animals, you know. But I don't know. I wanted to go and ask a dog if it was finger licking, good, dude. but I don't think it was KFC. So if somebody's missing a, a chicken in Riverside, don't post it, fool. The dog ate it. You're not gonna find it. Look. Oh. We'll keep giving you guys updates on the vlog. Let's we'll see what he eats next. Probably. You know what? We should do a YouTube channel for the dog, you know? He's a YouTuber, he likes to eat. This is about to eat the animals while they're alive, it's weird. But. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Eh? My dogs, they just look at the birds and they lick them. You know, it's like, fuck. I want my dogs to eat birds and they don't. The birds land on them. On mm -hmm. the, on the, on the bird. The birds come and they land on top of our dogs, and they think they're their friends and they do shit to them. It's weird. Dogs yeah, and the. We got the gardeners that cut the grasses in the, the house next door. And they want to eat them alive. I don't get it, boo. I don't get it. Maybe I want to put little lawnmowers on the pigeons and the birds so they can eat them. I don't know. It's weird. The dogs are weird. I could leave a chicken coop open and the dogs just look at the chickens. Eh, whatever. They don't do shit. But the other perro, that fool will fucking have a ball. He's like, damn, I got a lot of food here. But... Nah, he, he's too crazy to bring them over here. Cause he probably eat my other dogs and shit, huh? <laughs> but dad go out there and you know Max will have only three legs or some shit, you know? It's crazy. But I don't know. I mean, today is what Thursday? And it's gonna be hotter than crap again today. And it's early, that's why I bring you the review from the kitchen. And so I'll give you guys something different because I know some of you, the subscribers like cheese muscles. So take a little what you know? Mm -hmm. I know when I posted you guys were like, oh my god, where is he? Oh, zoom in, zoom in. Is that content? That's not content, fool. But it is a pig, eh? Watch out. And he got lenses and everything. That fool, he looking at me like, what's up, fool? But on this side, there's a cow with glasses. The wife likes animals, you know? So we got her some. Some paintings of animals, eh? Up in the kitchen. But, yeah. I am done. I'm full. I got one taco left. Who wants it, eh? Comment below. Come pick it up, fool. Throw it in your air fryer and it'll be crispy again. But, I left like a shitload of fries left. I should've just ordered like, can I get like five french fries, please? Because I'm not gonna eat, I'm not gonna eat them all. And then the lady, I asked her for green salsa. She brings out my order. And she didn't fucking bring my green salsa. It's a good thing I checked now because the wife makes me. If not, I would have drove home with no salsa for my tacos. And then I would have had some salsa less tacos and it's not good. But I wanted to bring you guys this early morning review. I'm going to post it earlier than our other videos. Just so you guys can check it out, vatos. And I still owe you guys a review. Of the snacks that the wife brought me so i gotta get on that eh? i gotta i gotta get on full so i could do a snack review and bring you a little a little short video and um yeah i think that's all i have for them am i missing anything out i'm asking my producer aka the wife because um no i don't know what i was gonna talk about today you know i don't remember I don't remember, but yeah, to have you guys, have for you guys, fuck. So before we go, hit the like button, comment below, and share the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you to all the new subscribers that have been subscribing. What the hell, fool? And I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. And we're gonna keep on bringing you content. We've been on a roll on a daily, daily, daily. And right now I'm trying to catch up and be one video ahead. 
because that's usually how I how I do it. But when I when was it? When I got sick? I think when I got sick, I didn't record and it threw us off. So now I'm recording. Today is Thursday, and I am posting on Thursday. Well, but usually I record today and post tomorrow. I don't know. Just I'm always a day ahead on the videos. All right. We'll get it going. We'll get it going. And I'm feeling a little bit better. Not 100%, but a little bit better. Obviously, because I'm still eating. But the wife is checking on the on the, the pot roast. How's it going? Awesome. And it's tri-tip pot roast. Finish. I bought a, I bought, show. I bought the tri-tip the last time. Fuck, it was way back. Was it on 4th of July? Mm -hmm. I was supposed to throw it in the smoker. I never did. So the wife, of course, can I use it for... The pot roast, I said, do what you gotta do. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. So that's what she's doing, try tip pot roast and see how it comes out. And we grow our own thyme. So I could just go out to the... Thyme? We, like on the clock? She already got mad, eh? I'm playing, baby. The 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 branch, what is it, mama? The tree? The herbs? Yeah, the big tree. <laughs> the herbs. The thyme. It's called thyme? She got mad because, you know me, I'm always joking around. She said, we grow our, our own thyme. But she's talking about the herbs. And I mean, like a payaso, I said, the fucking clock. Now she's mad. She's over on the couch chilling. She's going to kick my ass after the review. But I love you, baby. See, she didn't even answer me. I was fucked up, babe. I'll take you to Starbucks. I'll take myself. All right, babe. Can I go? That's fucked up. You don't even want to think of a Starbucks, eh? But yeah. That's all I have for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode live from the kitchen. The cocina, eh? And I know you guys want to see the wife's recipes because we get messages. And I don't know. One day we'll go... Right now. The pot roast. The pot roast. We're going to show you guys a pot roast. So I will stop the video and i will show you guys a pot roast oh hold on let me let me pause it right now so here's the wife's pot roast in the crock pot and it still needs a long time still actually six hours and 20 minutes and see this little tree that's the time mate eh? that's the one i got in trouble for making fun of it because eh? i said it was a clock but yeah we grow our own time bottles. No, we're not back to the future, fool. But look at this. This thing is amazing. Amazing. Um, if you guys want me to do a review on this, comment below. Let us know. And the wife just went out the door because the gardener's dirty in her car. She's going to knock that fool out. All right, bottles, we're back. You seen the pot roast? I got to edit it in there, fool, because I put it there. You guys ain't going to watch it, bottles. But... You guys seen the pot roast? It's in process. And what else? Oh, another thing. I know on Instagram we've been getting questions asked. And thank you for asking the questions. But we are going to reply to those questions in the 1,000 subscribers episode. So you guys ain't going to get a VIP early release of our of the questions, Matos. But we're, we're getting there little by little. So share the channel so we get there quicker to the 1,000. And... Yeah, unless you guys want me to answer a question and I get it gets asked a lot before the thousand, I'll answer it on a review. I'm not going to say what question about the book. It did get asked a couple of times, but if you guys bring it up and you guys comment and I see that question, I will do a review and I will answer it before the thousand subscribers, but I'm going to let you guys figure out what question that is. Huh, baby? Yeah. So, yeah. That's all I have for you guys, so till then, you guys have yourself a wonderful day.